Hello and welcome to Shorts in Psychology. In this video, we're going to examine the difference between negative reinforcement and punishment. If you haven't already watched the operant conditioning video, I would suggest you watch this first. I've posted the link to this video in the comments below. Before we start comparing and contrasting negative reinforcement and punishment, let's quickly review the general definition of reinforcement and punishment. Reinforcement is when a desirable behaviour is strengthened. This means that the behaviour is occurring more frequently as a result of the consequence that the learner receives for performing it. Punishment, on the other hand, is when an undesirable behaviour is weakened. Therefore, it is occurring less frequently due to the learner receiving an unpleasant consequence. Now let's look at negative reinforcement specifically. In negative reinforcement, the behaviour is being strengthened by the removal of an aversive stimulus. Remember that in learning, the word negative doesn't mean bad, but it means subtraction, to take something away, just like in mathematics. Because we want the learner to repeat this behaviour and perform it more frequently, the stimulus being taken away is something unpleasant or aversive. Let's illustrate this with an example. You get a bad headache and so take a painkiller tablet. This gets rid of your headache. This is negative reinforcement because the behaviour of taking a painkiller will be strengthened and occur more frequently in the future as it removes the aversive stimulus of the headache. As we've already mentioned, the aim of punishment is to decrease an undesired behaviour and this can be done in a couple of ways. One way to decrease this behaviour is by adding an aversive stimulus. This is sometimes called positive punishment as a stimulus is being added. Again, just like in mathematics, positive means addition, not something good like the word positive often does when we use it in other contexts. Another name for this kind of punishment is aversive punishment. As the consequence being applied is something aversive and unpleasant, it is something the learner will wish to avoid in the future. For example, if you are caught speeding and are issued a fine, in this case, we want to weaken the speeding behaviour so that it occurs less often. The punisher, which is being used to achieve this, is the addition of an aversive stimulus in the form of the fine. If this punishment is applied to the learner in a timely and consistent manner, it should be successful at weakening this speeding behaviour and in future you obey the speed limit. The other way that punishment can decrease an undesired behaviour is via the removal of a desirable stimulus. This can be called negative punishment because like negative reinforcement, something is being taken away. However, in this case, we don't want the learner to repeat the behaviour, so the stimulus taken away is something desirable or pleasant. Because the learner's response is influenced by its negative cost, the withdrawal of a previously earned reinforcer or future reinforcer, this type of punishment is also called response cost. For example, you are failing at school and so your parents take away your mobile phone. In this instance, we are still weakening an undesirable behaviour, failing at school, but instead of doing so by applying an aversive stimulus, we are doing it by taking away something desirable, your mobile phone. As a result, you spend more time studying and get better grades in the future. In summary, negative reinforcement is used when the behaviour occurring is desirable, whereas punishment is used when the behaviour is undesirable. Negative reinforcement involves increasing the frequency of a behaviour, whereas the aim of punishment is to decrease the frequency of a behaviour. Negative reinforcement increases the frequency of a desired behaviour via the removal of an aversive stimulus. In contrast, punishment can decrease the frequency of an undesired behaviour via the addition of an aversive stimulus, which is known as aversive punishment, or via the removal of a desirable stimulus, which is called response cost. Thanks for listening and feel free to post any comments or feedback below. I'll catch you next time for another Shorts in Psychology.